What's up guys, it's Minx, and today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, Twitch plugin I've been making for Lethal Company. So, um, it's still fairly early in its development. Um, I haven't had a lot of time to work on it just yet, um, for a few reasons. I've got two jobs, I'm a college student, and I've been working on videos. And uh, this one's going to be real quick and easy. Um, so, that's kind of why other videos haven't been made. I know, like, oh, I'm working on videos as well. Well, I haven't had a lot of time for them either. Um, but um, we're kind of all over the place. So um, we're going to do a quick overview of what the goals of this thing is. And then um, after that, um, I'll kind of end off that part. And then we'll move into a sort of a technical overview of everything that's going on here. Because um, I think the technical stuff is a little interesting, at very least. Um, so um, the point of this mod is a Twitch streamer. Um, they stream their game and they have the plugin installed. The plugin does a few things. Firstly, it hooks up to their Twitch and it will allow users to redeem um, rewards, whatever, it'll create custom rewards and allow them to redeem them on the channel. And those rewards can do different things, such as um, I don't even, there's a list of things that were uh, recommended in the Discord. In game events, uh, drop all items, spawn enemy nearby, spawn enemy at a random event, um, do something stupid, uh, allow an enemy to go outside, spawn a turret in the ship, spawn a landmine in the ship, um, spawn or do a drop pod that does a bunch of bees, uh, just a bunch of random stuff. Um, so, um, that is, uh, that's, that's the main thing. Um, there's a few extra things that it does as well. Um, so that was the like original idea. Uh, the other thing it does is it has polls. So it will, uh, right now, the functionality to create a poll and listen to it is there, um, but it doesn't actually uh, do anything just yet. It doesn't like actually call an event. So um, the thing is polls. So it'll randomly do a poll, and then the uh, you know the users, the viewers vote on it, and they can tell the game it's like, hey, do this to the you know this many people vote for it, good. Um, and this will happen, or that'll happen, whatever, um, randomly in the game. So those are the two main things. Um, I'm still uh, fleshing everything out on the Twitch side. Once the Twitch side is done, um, I use my knowledge and uh, work with a few other devs to uh, actually write out the events since there's so many. Um, and yeah, so that'll be super fun. Um, so that's pretty much it for the overview of the mod. If you're not so interested in the technical aspects of it, um, then you know, it's uh, that's kind of where we're going into next. So we're going to look at the code and uh, what's going on here so far and uh, how everything works. So um, firstly, I started off with IRC because everything online is talking about, oh, make an IRC chatbot, whatever, because a chatbot's fairly easy. You know, they made chatbots for Discord, for that old thing called Kick, that old chat thing, um, and all sorts of other places. Um, and that goes here as well. Um, so I made that, and it worked fine. There was no issues with it. So I kind of commented it all out because I didn't really have any intention on using the chatbot stuff. But it could be used to like you know interact with the viewer some more. So I'll leave it in there for now. Um, then I moved on to um, doing a uh, uh, the Twitch events using event sub, and I went the route of web hooks instead of web sockets. So um, it uses webhooks to um, respond to events or, well, listen for them. So it uh, creates a little server here. Right now it's a local server, um, just listens locally. And it uh, um, listens for um, the thing to send events. Right now it's all local testing, so I go in the CLI and send it events, and it does function. Um, so we can do, uh, like, let's see here. Um, Yada yada yada, doesn't really matter. Um, come here, so we got two events right now. Um, we got the subscription type for channel points, custom reward, redemption dot add. So if a user redeems a, uh, a channel points reward, a custom one, which is something that this thing would make, um, we call handle event uh, redeem channel uh, points. Reward cost is probably going to get removed or it's just going to be not used. Um, if we go, where is it? Up, down? I don't even remember at this point. Down. Um, it doesn't actually do anything. Um, it just uh, handles the uh, event redeem channel points. Um, and it, 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 it checks for the cost and it you know parses it. If it's valid, it's good. If not, then it'll fail, um, which it shouldn't need to. Because um, we have the event ID, so we kind of know it's like, hey, the event ID kind of tells us, I don't know, like, you know, like what's the particular event that's going on, so the cost isn't really relevant. Um, return true if successful, return false if it failed, because maybe the uh, streamer needs to refund them or however that works. 
Um, then the next one we have is the handling for pulls. So when we create a pull, it stores it here. Everything's static right now. I'm probably going to remove that and make this uh, instance based because um, it being static is just not going to work um, because I need this to be updated. Um, so we create a pull and then it uh, goes to create the pull async on the actual server, which is pretty straightforward. It just creates a request um, with the necessary information. Um, and then if it succeeds, um, it gets the uh, ID of the pull that it created and it stores it. And then um, when the pull is complete, we check to see it's like, hey, is this a pull that we made essentially? You know, because uh, it doesn't listen for on pull create only on add or on a end. It's like, so it, it checks every pull. It's like, all right, handle event channel pull ended. Um, is this a pull we made? Yes. Uh, remove it and then handle it. I don't have like an else, else, let's say else. Uh, did not create pull, pull return. Um, so we just return, probably make this a bool and return false. And then turn true down here. Uh, because it'll be the same thing. Like if something happens, we need to tell it's like, hey, this failed. Um, we need to uh, be something like where we need to like, okay, delay this. This is the event that's going to happen, but we need to push it off until the round starts. Uh, something like that. So um, anyway, that's pretty much it for now. Um, I've got the Twitch stuff set up. I still need to, I need to test a little bit more with polls. The problem with testing polls is um, I can't test polls on my account because uh, I'm not an affiliate or whatever, you know, it, you, know, you got to be at a affiliate or a partner um, to do polls. Uh, so I need to find someone who is or see if there's a way to test it out. Uh, but until then, this is what it's looking like. This is how everything's working. So um, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.